This question belongs to computer network subject and was asked in gate CSC 2015 set 2. So the question states, assume that the bandwidth of a TCP connection is 1048560 bits per second. Let alpha be the round trip time in milliseconds rounded off to the nearest integer after which the TCP window scale option is needed. So alpha is the time after which the TCP window scale option is needed. Let beta be the maximum possible window size with the window scale option. Then the values of alpha and beta are. So we need to find the time as well as the maximum possible window size. So see, in TCP, when the bandwidth delay product, so we have a bandwidth delay product. So when this bandwidth delay product increases below, increases above 64k, then we will need the receiver window scaling is needed. Okay. Now, what is bandwidth delay product? So, bandwidth delay product is the maximum amount of data on the network circuit at any point of time. It is the maximum data at network circuit at any point of time. Okay. And it is measured as round trip time into bandwidth is equal to our bandwidth delay product. Now, note that this is not the time for sending the data, but it is just the time for sending the data without the acknowledgement. Okay. Here we do not consider the acknowledgement. Okay. Now see, what is bandwidth delivery? It is round trip time into bandwidth. What is our round trip time? It's alpha. What is our bandwidth? It's 1048560. It's bits per second. So we divide it by 8 to get bytes per second. Now it is equal to 64k. Then what is the value of alpha? Alpha equals to 64k into 8 divided by 1048560. Basically cross multiplication. So we get it equals to 0 0.5 second. Or we can write 0 500 milliseconds. Okay. Now see. Now when this window scaling happens. So after this point of time receiver window scaling will occur. Now when this window scaling happens. A 14 bit shift count is used in the TCP header. So we use 14 bit shift count. Okay. So the maximum possible window size get increased. Initially the window size was 2 to the power 16 minus 1. This is the standard window size. So it get increased from this due to 14 bit shift shift it, it gets multiplied by 2 to the power 14. Thus it gets converted from it gets changed from 2 to the power 16 minus 1 to this which means it gets changed from 65535 to what is the calculation for this the calculation for this will be 65535 into 2 to the power 14 ok so this is our answer so here the answer will be 500 milliseconds and 65535 into 2 to the power 14 so answer is option C